All right, last video, a video by Sensitive, my my father, my daddy in Christ. Um, goodbye, freak. Uh, and the thumbnail for context is the... Oh, I forgot this fucking person's name. I don't know if they're a, a male or female, so I'm just going to say they, them, uh, for respect purposes. Um, but... Uh, fuzz that was their name yeah fuzz um I've, I've i've talked about them here and there in my channels or on my channels um they are an interesting person i don't i don't think they deserve like death threats or anything because i do know that they were getting those um do i not like their content i think it's fucking cringe um uh, imagine if tuv left youtube that'd be crazy um but the whole thing with with fuzz for context for you guys he's probably gonna explain it um but fuzz is a tiktoker who is known for their extremely extremely progressive content in the sense of the lgbtq community um but it's low-key targeted towards children which is kind of gross but let, we'll get into that in a little bit so let's hold on we got we got to do it in the better way pa, 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 play it all right so this is a video that i didn't think i was going to make i was not expecting to talk about this person ever again and you might be like tell me sensitive who are you talking about of course i'm talking about the one the only fuzz, fuzz. 99 nine. now if you've been around the channel for over a year first of all thank you second of all you would know that we've made a few videos on oh, them, wow, a very really? interesting uh tiktoker and i've been extremely critical of their content and what they promote and i'm not the only guy i mean a year ago when this started blowing no, up actually, everyone that was talking was about so them and then we're talking about them for being a big inspiration for the LGBTQ I can tell when they were the community. quiet kid they in school i was the quiet kid what do you mean by that? And good. And if I'm not mistaken, someone sent me this video and it's called The Truth. A hater got me fired. Now, to whoever made that thumbnail, 10 out of 10. That might be one of the greatest <laughs> thumbnails in existence. Now, for a little context, in case you guys don't know, this was a big TikToker. I don't know if they're still making videos, but this was a TikToker and their whole personality was being gay. They did work at a school. They were around kids. And this person was giving a lot of advice to young. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Please don't tell me they were like, oh, OK, OK. I know this is a controversial topic. OK, this is a controversial topic of should children be taught stuff about being gay i'm going to say one thing and i'm not going to say anything else afterward i don't care okay i think that it is okay to put into children's world the idea of gay now am i going to shove it down my child's throat no um my whole thing about being teaching my kids about LGBTQ stuff, if I have kids, is my, if my kid says, hey, why are those two guys or girls holding hands? I would say, well, they're gay. And then I would say, and then they would say, oh, so if I hold hands with my, my friend who's the same thing as me, then we're gay? And I would say, no. It, it's gay is a, gay means you're in love with that person. It, it's just a term for somebody who is in love with the same type of gender they are. I would just give them that basic explanation. Now... I'm going to be honest, would I feel uncomfortable if a teacher was telling my kid that? Honestly, yes. Um, not because I think that teacher is like bad or anything. It's just that sexuality and gender and stuff like that is something I want to teach my kids. I don't want somebody else teaching my kid that. It's the same thing of like, you don't want a stranger or not a stranger, but like you don't want your teacher teaching something to your kids that you would want to teach them, whether it's about gender, sexuality, or, you know, like morals or like self-discipline or stuff like that. Like, it's just something I don't want my kids being taught from some other person. I want them to get it from me because they're my kids. You know what I mean? Um, but I don't think talking about like, you know, LGBTQ and shit like that in school is wrong. I think it should be taught about. I think it should have a history, should have a place in school. But do I think that it's something that should be shoved down kids' throats at the age of like five? Absolutely not. Absolutely fucking not young people about you know transitioning and stuff like and that. especially stuff. transitioning because if you put that shit in a kid's mind that early they're gonna think oh i'm gonna be trans or i should be trans because this is what this person does and i'm a kid and i'm very i look up to that person you know what i mean like i just i just don't fuck with that shit i don't like that idea of that in my opinion shouldn't be <laughs> told by a substitute teacher but with that said they're, they're teaching trans in school way. no it's just there are some teachers who do talk about it a lot and they kind of like try to push the idea of like oh uh well it's it's not all right well let me rephrase what I'm saying because it's going to sound like I'm saying it's not okay to be trans. It is okay to be trans. It's 100% okay to be trans. Um, but that is what can happen, exactly what you're saying, Cricket, where there are kids who are like six. Uh, they're like, oh, yeah, this my teacher said that my teacher was talking about trans and it's like, I want to be trans now. And it's like, you are fucking six years old. You don't need to be worrying about your fucking genitalia. You're six. Like, I, I don't. That is what my problem is, all right, is it's not that it's bad to be trans. It's not that it's bad to be gay or anything like that. The problem is, is that the kids are fucking kids, 
Okay, it's not just about sexuality and gender and transitioning. It's also about like, you know, violence and, you know, and social media and this, this like, you know, and beauty standards and shit like that. There are kids who are fucking seven years old wearing makeup. Why the fuck are you a seven year old wearing makeup? Go fucking outside and play with a fucking soccer ball or a Barbie doll. Why the fuck? Uh, that sounded like I was making a gender thing. God damn it. Everyone's got to fucking hate me now. Okay. Your chat broke again. I'm sorry. But like, that is my problem is like. We are putting so much shit onto these kids and they're growing up way too fast, okay? Coming from somebody who had to grow up too fast because my grandparents who were raising me, well, my grandparent, I'm not gonna say grandparents, well, where my grandparent wasn't even fucking raising me properly, I was the one that had to take the mantle and raise myself, okay? I was the one who had to learn how to do my taxes. I was the one who learned how to fucking become, you know, a, a, a moral person, you know what I mean? Like, I had to do that shit by myself because my, my grandmother who was raising me was not the best in the sense of like, she, she just, she would try to shelter me and I had to learn myself about the harsh reality. And the problem is right now is what society is. We are having kids mature way too fucking quickly, whether it's because of social media or, you know, the fucking shit that we're shoving down our kids throats in school. It's a fucking problem. We need to stop fucking doing this shit to kids and let them have a fucking childhood. I'm so tired of seeing kids on social media saying, oh, I'm going to do this with myself because this celebrity does it. Or, oh, this is my thing, this, this, and that. Fucking, like, I'm already dirty-minded from the hub. That's my fucking problem. That's exactly my point. Okay? What, what's the video on? Uh, it's about uh, some fucking dude who was, like, a school teacher who was, like, uh, just being, like, he's just, like, has, like, weird content targeted towards kids. Uh, imagine they ban TikTok. I hope they fucking do. And so, you know, fucking hate TikTok. Just jump right into it. I was recently hate crimes for being queer. And as a result of me being hate crimes for being queer, it ultimately led to me being fired from my job as a high school substitute teacher. You wish up, David? I hate making content like this. That whole moment of silence was straight out of a YouTube apology. <laughs> it was. I'm sorry, guys. <sighs> I touched the 10 year old. <laughs> but uh, I was depressed. So, does that make it okay? I mean, what is that fucking sigh? Like, uh, Guys, I don't like talking about this. Let me make a 20 minute video about it. This has 100 likes, 900 comments, and 15,000 views. I mean, you could guess how bad the ratio is. Something that they continue to say is they were a victim of a hate crime, right? So we get the real definition they do. because- That's the they, other thing about short media is it fucking fries your brain. They say it constantly. A hate crime- I use it, but like, I don't like using it. You know what I mean? I use it to get people to find my main content like this. That That's why I use shorts. Typically one involving violence. So, you know, that's something that we really got to highlight here. It involves <laughs> violence. That is the definition of a hate crime. I guess hate speech would be different but let me make one thing clear in this whole video they never said they were physically assaulted now if that was the case you know i'm not for that i think that's corny but yeah actually absolutely i agree like listen i'm gonna sit here and talk shit about this person potentially but i do not condone violence or hate speech towards someone okay just because they are different just because they are like annoying or whatever it doesn't mean you can go and call them like a bunch of fucking slurs and tell them to commit sapoku i don't think that's a good thing Take them with a hate crime like you're <laughs> i don't expect to be forgiven hard okay? i said hey david you what's didn't up get punched because you know whatever you identify as you didn't get punched period so when you guys pay attention to that because they mentioned it quite a few times this part was so dramatic dude come on <laughs> i love making people laugh and smile and forget about all their troubles i love helping people feel comfortable in their bodies and always preach that there's nothing ever wrong with being you and that you should always identify and do the things that make you happy and feel most like you i love learning about my community and i love helping educate others about my community too what happened to me wasn't fair to me or to my students that i helped make a better and safer environment for every single day Right now in America, queer teachers are under attack and are Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, continue. Constantly being targeted and kicked out of the classrooms for being who they are and for helping students feel welcomed for who they are. Now, here's the thing that I want to point out because I know this is where people are going to call me transphobic, homophobic, bigot, and all that fun and jolly stuff that I love hearing, right? Most mm -hmm. people legitimately don't give a fuck what you are, okay? What Very true. What all of this is Twitter and Instagram and TikTok, but when you step into the real world, you would be surprised by the amount of people who actually give a shit what you are or what you do, what you like, and what you don't, okay? Step outside, please, I beg you. It's not as bad as it seems, okay? Or as good as it seems. And you got to stop acting so innocent like you didn't encourage certain stuff. We can go to the TikToks, right? You can go to my old videos, and if you don't want to watch mine, look it up, okay? She's been known, or what are they? They don't even have their pronouns. I don't know what they are, okay? They. Let's just go with they. That seems like okay. neutral because they're gonna come from my head. All right. 
the thing is, right, people don't hate you because, I don't know, are you trans? Are you gay? Whatever you are. They don't care, okay? The reason why you're getting so much hate and so much backlash, it's not because you're gay or trans, okay? It's because you make that your whole personality. And on top of that, you're just annoying yeah. as balls, okay? You're so obnoxious and unlikable. And it's not because you have the happy, positive attitude. No, it's not that kind of attitude. It's the attitude of someone who's obnoxious and they clearly never got told you are annoying, okay? Sure, there's people that might hate you for being trans. I mean, I'm not one of them. I literally don't give a fuck, okay? So just, yeah, that that's the whole thing about their content is they're just fucking annoying and they make being gay or being trans their whole um personality and that shit pisses me off because it like it would be like listen like chat i don't know there's there's a couple people who are new in chat i'm pansexual i am part of the lgbtq community i i like i don't i don't see I mean, that's also probably why I don't find like actresses and like, you know, people like that really attractive, attractive. There's only a couple people I really do. And the reason why I find those actresses or, or, or writers like low key attractive is because of their personalities away from the media they create. That's why. But like when it comes to like the shit that some people do, like I, I just don't get it. Like because I, I sit here as somebody who is part of that community and I'm like, what's up? I like dick. Like that, that's just how I act, but I don't make it my personality. It is never my personality. So like, I don't understand why it has to be your personality. Like you, you can be separate. You, you don't have to be just because you like the same fucking genitalia that you have in your pants does not mean that that is all you are. Like there is way more to you than meets the eye, but because you think that how the fuck did you post that? How the fuck did you post that? Anyway, you're not in the I lost my train. More power to you. Go cray cray, right? But your job is to teach. Your job is not to advise young people to transition or give them tips or put stuff yes. in their head. Okay, you gotta know your role and know what to do. If you're a substitute teacher, that's great. And I've had gay teachers in the past, especially at university. No one gives a fuck. Okay, legitimately, no one cares. See, because that—that's where it starts, right? Th this is why I say I am the teacher. See. This is, this is my thing, right? And, and again, I don't want to sound homophobic or anything. This is just my personal opinion, and this is how I feel, okay? When it comes to gender identity in a school, right? If you are a substitute teacher or a teacher, okay? Your job is to teach the curriculum and the material that they give you. It is not to teach the kids about, you know, hi, my name is whatever. I am this, this, and that. I'm going to explain to you exactly what it is and why it's okay to do it. That is not your job. That is the parent's job. The parent is the one who's supposed to teach the kids what that stuff is because that is a personal situation. It's like the best way to describe it, at least how I feel about it, is like if a teacher just started teaching the kids about sex. Now, yes, they do that partially like in health class in like middle school. But I mean, I feel like that's also kind of weird now that I think about it. Why, why, do, why do we teach that shit in middle school? That's kind of gross. Why do we do that? Why, why, why do we teach sex ed in middle school? Was that middle school? Wait. No, I think, it was, I think it was freshman year of high school. I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway, like, that's my point is like, like, we don't need, I, listen, all right, here, here's, here's my, this is my all ground opinion about LGBTQ plus shit in schools. I think it's okay to have it, the history of it. I think the history of it is okay to have it somewhere within like the history uh, in school. I think that's okay. I think it's fine. I don't think that we should just keep all of it out. It's the same thing with like, you know, black history. You know, we should be teaching that 100% in schools, you know, stuff like that. Uh, you know, Asian history, you know, all of that shit, all the history of the world should be taught in school, including LGBTQ stuff. Now, should my teacher come to school and say, hey, kids, um, this is what transsexual means. This is what transgender means, blah, 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 talking about all that. No, I don't think that shit should be taught in schools. That stuff should be taught by the parents. The parents should be the ones teaching their kids about that stuff. And the parents should be fucking smart enough to know or to teach their kids, hey, don't be hateful towards these people. But sometimes they don't, unfortunately. Um, Oh, hydrate. Fuck, I don't have a drink. Uh, Maddie, I don't know if you're in chat. Can you please, can you be a doll and give me a drink? Um, If not, it's fine. I'll just get something in a second. Um, But this is what happens is like, um, I just think that like, it, it, it becomes, it, it's, it's a fine line. It's really hard to really like dictate 
Like my opinion is my opinion. I don't think it's 100% agreeable because there's definitely different variables to everything. It's never going to be 100% this is what we should or shouldn't do. But in general, I just think that if you are transgender, if you are, if you have certain pronouns or whatever, like it's it's really not something that should be just like it's not that deep, you know what I mean? Like I think it's just like it's just like okay. Cool. It's just the normal part of society. It shouldn't be something that's big and crazy. And that's what this content creator was kind of doing was they were kind of making their content to target it towards kids in a way like it would like influence them to do those things. And it's like, that's not right. You should not be influencing kids or people who are in their tweens to transition or whatever. They should they should be the ones that should be making that choice by themselves, not being influenced by some popular figure. OK, I hate that shit. Okay. Cares, dude, because they act normal. Okay, they act chill. They don't make being gay or trans or whatever their whole personality. Because believe it or not, they're more than that. You know, they're human beings. They're people, just like us, right? But you know, they have different you know preferences and stuff. No one is crucifying you for being trans or for being whatever part of the community you belong to. The reason why you were getting so much hate and criticism is because of what you were informing the kids and what you were telling them. And, and on top of that, like I said, just being an obnoxious person, you are extremely online. Oh, you have to go. All right, you have to go. Guys, I was a victim of a hate crime. No, you weren't. <laughs> okay. Or did you get assaulted? Did you get punched? I don't think so. You didn't mention it in this video. Stop the cap. Stop acting so fucking innocent guys i'm getting hate and i don't know why okay i hope that by telling my story i can make other queer teachers who have gone through similar experiences feel less alone and mm -hmm. that i'm able to use this as an opportunity to say goodbye to my students that i didn't get the chance to say goodbye to because that opportunity was taken away from me by a hateful miserable person who had too much time on their hands okay am i the only one who's getting kind of freaked out at the fact that she hasn't blinked in like a minute and a half i'm getting kind of concerned here i don't know what's bit. going on i'm a little spooked okay guys let's be honest here right Not that, in the game, and i saw that one of my kids you know substitute teachers was gay would i pull them from that class as long as you're teaching them and you're doing a good job i don't give a fuck you know go yeah, crazy. but the second do I. you make it personal and you go out of your way to let your kids about transitioning and, and you know all of that stuff that's when people have a problem you're not their parents right if their parents thank learning, you, you know, thank you he's it. saying it exactly how i see it you saw the ping? I'm watching a video, so no, I didn't see the ping. What? 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 I don't understand. What? <laughs> that's that's okay. That's pretty funny. Um. Okay. And they don't. That's awesome. That's not your kid, and that was a big issue. You were getting involved with the kids yeah. personally, telling them yeah. stuff that didn't need to come from your mouth. You're there to teach math, right? Stick to what you know, and that's it. You were a math teacher, and what the fuck? Whatever you believe, keep it outside and leave it outside the classroom. But you made one mistake, just a little one, and that is getting personally involved with the students and giving advice and tips. So oh, yeah, cool. if I was a parent and I heard that, of course I would complain. Who wouldn't? And no, for the people in the back, I am not saying don't teach them X, Y, and C at school. I'm just saying it's not your job to do that. It's not your kids, <laughs> you know? Mind your own yeah. business. Just teach what you Yeah, like listen, okay, if it's the curriculum, if it's in the curriculum, teach the curriculum. If it's not in the curriculum, do not fucking teach these kids this shit, okay? It is the parent's job to teach those things. It is not your fucking position to do that, okay? And the reason why I'm so defensive on this topic as well, partially, is because I used to want to be a teacher. And the idea of a teacher getting extremely personal with a student is fucking disgusting to me. Because that is not your fucking child, okay? If there is something that's giving you red flags and you maybe want to talk to the kid one-to-one, -one, maybe if there's like something going on at home and you kind of can see it in the classroom with the kid, that's different. But if you're just all of a sudden starting talking about like personal shit, whether it's sexuality, about sex, about, you know, gender identity and stuff like that, that is not your fucking conversation to have with those kids. That is the parents conversation to have with those kids. End of discussion. OK, if it comes to, you know, something about history of that stuff, that's a little different. Also, sex ed, that's a little different. But no, nope, nope. You have to teach and enjoy whatever you enjoy. I don't know. Is that so hard to understand or comprehend? Or is that too much to ask for nowadays? I don't know. Yeah, a little bit. We have to go back a whole year ago. So when I was being targeted by hateful extremist groups and really- What in the fuck was that? Blew up I guess no hydration. I don't have a drink. Particularly I'm by the sorry. cis lady who is accused of inciting bomb threats against schools, libraries, and hospitals. And who also just got appointed to an advisor position on the Oklahoma Educational State Department's Library Committee, which is a whole nother mess that we're- Like telling jokes and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I could see that. That's fine. Um, I feel like a joking comment. I feel like you, there's like a fine line you gotta you gotta go with a tweet teacher. You know what I mean? Like I've had a teacher who I would like tell jokes with and talk to. Like yeah, I, I had that relationship, but like I didn't really get like too close with them. You know what I mean? Like there was uh, teachers back that I had in high school that were like really really close with the students, and it was kind of gross. But like yeah, that that shit. Um, but hold on, Let, let's go back. Why the fuck are they getting so? All right, cricket, stop. 
Cricket. All right. I'm not copying the link. I banned links for a reason. We're not we're not doing the link stuff anymore. I'm sorry. We're not doing that. It, it's it's no. We're not doing and that. And also just got appointed to an advisor position on the Oklahoma Educational State Department's Library Committee, which is all another mess that we're not going to get into right now. Any podcast, YouTube video, TikTok, or any content mentioning my name during that time would get millions of views. I had hundreds of thousands of people harassing me online, and some even went to more extreme lengths to harass me in real life. Now, I'm all for trolling and fucking around and leaving funny comments like you're gay or you're cringe or you're corny or you're fat or, you know. Oh, well, it's not like I'm cringe. I, I'm not. No, I wouldn't. Now, I'm not going to do that. I don't support that. Um, but go on. Yeah, by the way, but you know, I get it. I know how kids act. Okay. I know how they are because I was once, believe it or not, a 14 year old online who said the crazy shit. Okay. So I get it. That's why I don't take it personal when someone leaves a crazy comment under my videos or my IG or Twitter, because I've been there. I know what that's like. And you know, you're going to regret it in the future. Or you're gonna you know what? It. That's fair. I didn't think about it like that, but I also still just don't want to do that. But you know, that's the funniest on. thing ever. Like, that's why I don't really pay too much attention to it. And the thing is, and I've said this a lot of times, if you can't take the heat, get out. Unless you have some kind of hate fetish where you're getting off to the fact that th not, not, not thousands, millions of people are shitting on you. And once again, you did yourself no favors by being up. No, absolutely. They were absolutely targeted for being cringe. That is absolutely why. That is one of the main reasons why. Extremely unlikable, okay? If you were posting what you were posting without the exaggerated faces, without being obnoxious, without being loud, without saying cringy shit like spooky, spooky haircut. Spooky, spooky. <laughs> God, this is what pissed me the fuck off. Spooky haircut, spooky, spooky haircut, spooky, spooky haircut. God, back the fuck up, bro. <laughs> you yourself. <laughs> That's funny. That's pretty funny. I'm sorry, but you did this to yourself. Okay, I don't know what else to say. You have no one to blame for your downfall but yourself. Now, do I agree with people being out there and personally harassing you IRL? Of course no. not. I always say and I believe in it. Online stuff should stay online. It should never come out into the real world, okay? So I don't condone doxing. I don't you just feel bad for her? I don't. I mean, I do and I don't. I, I I do and I don't because I I don't know because like I feel bad because yeah like they should they don't deserve to lose their job but like the way you have been acting on the internet there are there are like you know there are uh you know th there are repercussions to your actions excuse me and the way you react to those things um stop misgendering him just say them like just say them you don't have TikTok I don't blame you um. TikTok is kind of trash. I mean, I use TikTok, but not really that much. It's kind of garbage. No, you finding out where they work and meeting them in person or stalking them. No, I am completely against that, no matter who it is. Yeah, you know, I, I don't, I don't right? know. You know, I make excuses for certain people. But, you know, leaving a comment and calling spam you call, do I answer? As as I answer the spam call and be like, uh, and start talking and say like, hey, um, you got to give them, give, give like a really old, like old person voice. And then like, just start talking like you have dementia. And then just like make them make them feel like really confused. Yo, I will never seek you and be like, <laughs> that's so fucked up. Girl. I'm sorry. I'm such a fuck off. I'm a such a piece of shit person. Or guy or whatever. You know, I'm not going to do that. And I think most people wouldn't. But I don't know. Like they're playing the victim and it's really annoying. They're acting like they. Yeah. Never yeah. Pretend to have like a Vietnam flashback. Like they'll say something about like, hello, this is about your car insurance. Uh, we just wanted to let you know that you have a, a big, uh, a big chance to win. Big. Oh, God. Oh, God. The bombs. They were so big. Oh, my God. Oh my God! I could see him falling from the sky. Oh my God! Oh my God! Ah! And just just start screaming at the phone. Piss off people in their life. They knew what they were doing. They were forming hate. There's only two genders, but I think that would be offensive to say. Uh, it technically is. Um, I I'm not gonna get into the whole gender thing. <laughs> they hung up instantly. Uh, the I would say that there is more than two genders technically. I guess now in society, but I would say I did read your last text about oh the weirdest anime I've ever watched. Uh. I don't know. Boku no Hero? I don't fucking know. Um, there are, no, I wouldn't, yeah, I was going to say gender is technically an identity, and there's not, there's not three sexes, is there? Because there's male, oh, I guess male, female, and other, or I guess, like, there's, like, the middle one, I guess, but, like, yeah, there's three sexes, and gender is an identity, I guess, so. Because it is, by definition, it is an identity, so. so. Okay, stop trying to act like an angel, as you ain't. One of which ways was reporting me to school. In September of last year, I was called into HR's office for, one, being reported by the haters, and two, Apparently, the freshmen were writing my username on whiteboards, and the school wanted to make sure I wasn't self-promoting my brand, which I wasn't. The freshmen had a very hard time adjusting to the fact I worked at that school and freaked out on the daily because I worked at school. I wonder why. I don't blame them. I don't fucking blame them. How long we got to stream? I'm going to end soon. I'm going to end soon. Hi. I mean, you seem so positive and... I want to finish this video and then we're gone. Anyone would ever have a Sex, gender's the same? No, they're not. They're not. Gender is the identity of the person while sex is the genitalia. So you can identify as a female, but have a male genitalia. That That is, 
Yeah, yeah, that's what it was called. Intersex. I couldn't. I could. I forgot what it was called. The, I, that's why. That's why I meant by the middle ground thing. Probably but yeah, you. there's male, that, female, and yeah, then intersex, which is people who are either born born with both, um, or no, like you know, genitalia. Um, so three. Yes. Yeah. There's like, uh, yeah. There's three sexes technically, and then there's whatever gender. Like there, some of the fucking things that people make are kind of fucking out there. But like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. quick TikTok before we leave. I do not know if we're gonna have time because popular you know, tunes. Get or, the fuck know, out of here. They bro. like what they like. You can be they born trans. Yes. That yeah. Actually, you can. Yeah. This they might not. Maybe they do. maybe have three. Right. I don't care. I just care about you doing your job. <laughs> Stop trying to label people as haters and, you know, transphobic and cis people. It's like, and then you wonder why no one wants to hang out with you. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, these are people that even if you try to sit with them and reason with them, there's no saving them. Yeah. They're gone, brother. It's over. Sacabo. Like, you can't help these people because they're chronically online losers. And am I chronically online? I always say that I'm a chronically online YouTuber because I'm always seeking content, but I yeah. try to be offline as much as I can for this specific reason because I don't want to turn into a terminally online YouTuber who gets any amount of <laughs> Why did you relate being born as transsexual or anything like that? Or not transsexual, being born as trans to diabetes. Why the fuck? Criticism and it's like, hater, transphobic, racist, you don't like me because of this. No, okay. I try to uh, to stay grounded. I know you didn't mean it like that. I'm yeah, assuming you didn't lost. mean it like that. Like, but... I get it. Like, yeah, freshmen are horrible. They're like 15 years old. They, uh, you know, they're silly. They're goofy. High schoolers act like that towards yeah. anyone. Doesn't matter what you are. See, okay, here, here's my first thing, right? Um, If you are a YouTuber... Do not be a teacher. Um, there is, or not even YouTuber, social media influencer. Um, do not teach kids. Uh, because if you are in person with those kids and they find out you have a YouTube channel, you're going to get fired day one. So that's one thing. You can't be born trans. No, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't be born trans, but you can be born with both human genitals. Yes, that is, yeah, that's what's called intersex. Oh, God. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ever okay, Jesus Christ. Ever oh, he low-key vibing, though. Hold up. Oh, he's done. God damn it. Bully. That's been around forever. I've Doing stuff should have made time before. for you. Hey, no don't worry about it, man. You're all good. No, gender or sexuality has nothing to do with that. Have you ever thought that you just suck? You're just not good? Has that ever, you know, popped into your brain? Mm -hmm. And all the other kids at school hated the freshmen and would be like, you guys are stupid. Why are you freaking out? It is just mall. Chill out. Jeez, bro. Freaking freshmen. Yeah, no one has ever said that. Let's just be honest. This is, this is why people bully you for your content. This is... I'm sorry, but that this. Oh boy, oh god, that that made me hurt inside. Can we get a replay on that? And all the other kids at school hated the freshmen and would be like, "You guys are stupid. Why are you freaking out? It is just mall. Chill out. Jeez, bro." Oh my god. That, ooh. 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 That 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 gave me a bad taste in my mouth. Ooh. Tasted like spoiled Skittles. Ew. Freshman. Yeah, no one has ever said that. I, just I don't see how people can get mad at that. Am I a joke to you? <laughs> see, I can see how people get mad at that. Um, because it's fucking cringy. Um, now, now, does it deserve hate? No, I wouldn't say that. Um, but is it fucking cringy? Yeah, it, it absolutely is. <laughs> so rad, dude. <laughs> you guys are stupid. Why are you freaking out? It is just mall. Chill out. Jeez, bro. Freaking freshman. Yeah, no one has ever said that. Oh, to be honest. God. There's no okay. way you're not fans. <laughs> yeah, they're just capping. It was then during this meeting, though, I explained that I was internet famous and that I make LGBTQ educational content on the internet and that I was targeted towards the end of summer and that our mm -hmm. very own town's manager was aware I was being harassed as well as the local police department being informed and then later involved. At the end of the meeting, my manager said word for word, and I never forgot this. I don't care if you swear like a sailor or post whatever you want to post. It is your social media and you can do whatever you want to do with it. Hearing those words and knowing that the school supported me and was going to have my back through that mess motivated me to keep creating and to keep going and made me believe mm -hmm. that the haters couldn't take my I mean, that's away. a W for the school, I guess. I mean, yeah, they didn't give a shit. That's good. Because most schools will be like, nah, you're, you're posting shit online for kids and it's going to be a distraction for the students that you're fired. That's what most teachers so why did you get fired then for me i mean once again with the phrasing with the word haters these haters are coming after me now i like to use the word hater you know kind of sarcastic because it's just so overplayed like i got yeah. haters they're just hating on me you know the same way i use stuff like bangers so i say new banger drops tomorrow like i'm obviously making <laughs> new fun banger of, like, the yeah. era when they would say bangers are here to stay fire emoji fire emoji explosion sound effects and all that good stuff i use those things sarcastically they I were the day with their teacher yeah they were a teacher as a shield for valid criticism you know what you did you know what you were spreading and once again go back a year a year and a half look at everyone who talked about them and one of the big reasons why you're getting so much hate is number one being obnoxious i think that's the 
biggest thing, I, you know, apart from you being gay or whatever, yeah. I think the biggest thing is that even if you were straight and you were so, or you are so fucking annoying and your expressions were annoying, your videos were annoying, you were extremely obnoxious. Like I haven't seen anyone as obnoxious as this person right here in forever. Okay. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This gotta be top 10 worst things to happen to the internet. I truly do believe that even if you were straight, you would have gotten so much hate and criticism because number one, your video sucked. Let's just get that out of the way. Number two, you're extremely loud and obnoxious. No one likes loud people. Okay. Imagine if she was a sub for the day or they were a sub for the, I would. I don't want them in my chat. I'm sorry. Like, uh, it, listen, and I agree with so with, with sensitive on this. It's not the fact that they are, um, like whatever, like whatever, whether it's trans or, or, or you know, gay or whatever the hell they are. It's not even that. It's just the fact that they're so fucking annoying. Like, they're just fucking obnoxious. Like, all right, bye, bud. See you, man. Okay. And then mixing that with but like, it's just so fucking obnoxious. Reaction. And on top of that, you're teaching kids about this kind of stuff that it's not your place to teach. You're they probably going to get some criticism, dude. Like, no, no shit. On October 30th, 2023, I received an email from my HR manager asking to sit down to talk about my social media posts. I hadn't posted about working at school on TikTok in a couple of weeks. And the okay. only post I could think of was tomorrow where is March 1st, yeah. At the art club, kids face paint my face to practice before a big football game. And I thought for some reason HR wasn't going to be happy. I let them face paint my face and were going to yell at me. But that wasn't the case at all. Considering the comments on this video were so horrible. Well, let's read some of these comments. Hold on. It wasn't the case at all. Considering let's read some the of these comments. comments. Why are you around kids? Who the hell lets you around kids? I feel bad for the kids. A part of me feels like the people aren't supposed to be here around kids. You're around kids. Yikes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. On this video, we're so, so horrible. Uh, I would never let you teach kids and push your agenda. The fucking dude with the gym shirt and the... God. Uh, the fact that this is what teaches our kids, uh, it teaches kids the fucking Doja Cat icon, Jesus. It needs to be stopped somehow. Why are you allowed? All right, the it comments are fucked up. I mean so being loud and annoying is worth being harassed? No, I didn't say that. I, I never said that. I never said that it's okay to harass people uh, for, you know, for, for being annoying. I, I will say that you will get harassed. That is the internet. That's just how the internet is, unfortunately. People will bully the fuck out of you because they don't have, they're not, a, they're not, they're not growing the fuck up. You know, they, they're not, they're not adults. They're not, they're going to make fun of you on the internet because of what you are. Um, uh, yeah, but somebody's going to tell you to shut the fuck up because you're annoying. Like, they, like, yeah, but I, I'm, I, I will say it. I'll say, God, shut the fuck up because you're annoying. Like, that's what I've said. Like, it just, cr it makes me fucking cringe the way they act. So I tell them to shut the fuck up. But, would I ever comment and then like spam comment on that shit? Absolutely not. I would not do that to them. That's not that's I mean, right. To be completely honest with you guys, I think it would be creepy if a straight white teacher asked their students who draw their face. Yeah, yeah. Like that's face. the other thing. Like I, I, I was gonna say something about this, the face painting thing, but it's not even the fact that it's like, oh, they're gay. It's it's the fact that e even if they were straight, even if it was a girl, I would find it weird that you're like, hey, kids, paint my face. Get mad fucking close to my face and start fucking scribbling all over it with paint. Like, I don't know. I just find that weird. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm different. Maybe, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm maybe I'm one of them. Uh, maybe I'm one of them right wing uh, uh, proud boys, you know, oh, them goddamn them goddamn uh, them goddamn liberals letting them let, let, letting the kids paint their face. <sighs> I can't take it. They're taking away my guns and they're giving my kids this, 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 this gay tea. You know what I mean? I'm mad that there are actual pedos and creeps on TikTok, but people went after this chap instead. Uh, I, I wouldn't, well, here's the thing. Um, why are you pausing so often? Because it's who I am. Um, also because I don't want to just watch the video. I want to make it my content. You know, I want to talk about it. You know, that's kind of the whole point of this. Um, but I, I wouldn't say that. That we're not going after pedos because there are a lot of people who hate on the pedos of TikTok as well. Like, have we not seen the shit with Nova online? We fucking grilled him to the ground. Like, that was a big example. Um, but the problem is, is that it what happens is, is that we talk about the shit like this more than the other pedo stuff. That's really what it is. So I, I would say that we do actually go after pedos because the amount of videos I see on TikTok of people like literally beating the shit out of pedos is crazy. Five year old having like Minecraft high YouTubers. High yeah, like let's not talk. Let's let's talk about the shit with Wilbur Soot, right? Like we're we're, we're definitely fucking with people. We're fucking hating on people who are pedos and abusers, right? We're not we're not just aiming at people who are gay because they're gay. 
Like we're not, we're not. No, nobody's, nobody's saying that. No, nobody's. Yeah. So close to him, and let's say they're all girls. You already know the pedophile allegations are gonna be flying at 100 miles yeah. per hour the second he's around girls. It should have not been done. Period. It's weird. I don't care if it was a you know straight woman or a straight male. It would have been weird regardless of yeah. having what four or five, six different kids so close to you painting your face. Like it's weird. Like I would never ever want to be that close. Can you be to trans and not like, gay? Yes. So can I draw you here? Well, that's the thing. Technically, hmm. I just dislike people like this who got hit in the crossfire. There's no crossfire. It was aimed at them. I mean, okay. I think, I think you're just seeing this as like hate because they are gay or trans or whatever. When in actuality, what really is going on is that this person is, is taking, you know, their own personality, which is basically just them being gay and bringing it into the classroom. That's the problem. Okay. There's a difference between being a teacher who is gay and being the gay teacher. There is a big difference, okay? If you're going to teach kids, teach the kids. That's it. Just teach the kids. That is your job. It's like a cop who is gay um, trying to, like, you know, like, just bring all of that shit into, like, the... Imagine imagine getting arrested by a cop and they're like, yeah, by the way, so I'm gay. If you don't know what that means, it's basically when a guy and a guy really like each other. Like, like that's, like, that's what they're doing. And it's not just in the classroom, it's in their content. And the problem is, is that if the kids know about the teacher's content, then they are watching it. That's not good, especially if they're very, very like, you know, like, uh, you know, like that, that, like that shit, their parents should be the ones that are teaching them, not social media and not the teacher. Okay. That, that's my main problem is like, listen, I have conversations here about shit like this all the time, but am I going to tell you to take my word for it? Okay. Um, and you know, teach, you know, like, like if I sit here and talk about gender and identity and shit like that, or like personal advice, I'm going to be honest. You do not have to take my fucking advice. You do not have to listen to me. Okay. I am a fucking dude on the internet. Okay. Just like the, that, this fucking person, they are a person on the internet. Okay. You do not have to listen to them. But the problem is, is that kids are fucking impressionable. Okay. And especially with the way that they target their content, it is definitely towards children. Okay. Whether it's them trying to do it or not. The way their content is being created and pushed through social media, whether it's YouTube or TikTok, it is being targeted towards children, okay? And they knew that. Whether it's they knew that in a way where they were trying to give a safe space or they just didn't want to believe that, you know? Uh, all right, you have a blessed one too. Like, that is not good. It is not your place. It is not your job to teach those kids that thing. It is the parent's job to teach them about those personal things. OK, it would be like me getting on a fucking YouTube video and being like, hey, I know most of my viewers are like 18 to 24, but I'm going to teach you guys about sex and how like this is what you should be like. That is not my fucking place. Absolutely not. I will make jokes about sexuality and shit like that, but it's not my place. 100% not my place. And then with this fucking morning breath for him to be like, well, not even the morning breath, the fucking coffee breath. Oh my God, fucking teacher's butt. Anyways, I digress. <laughs> it's weird regardless. I don't think they're a pedophile. I definitely think they're around kids a bit too much. Uh, I'm talking about fuss. It's warranted. Yeah. I think anyone else would have got a warning in my opinion. I do believe this was a motivation for the hater to commit the crime that they did. The morning of November 2nd, before my meeting with HR, I was notified by email by our substitute booking. What the fuck? Website that all of my jump scare ass notification Jesus that I had booked out till March were taken away from me and I was released from working them. Huh? Immediately, I got a gut sinking feeling in my stomach and realized something more serious was going on and I had no clue what it was. When I walked into the meeting, my HR manager asked me if I knew why I was here. I said I had no idea besides wanting to talk about my social media posts. They then pulled out a yellow folder and slid two screenshots of two old thirst traps across the table to me. And I was just like, Oh my fucking god, are you serious? <sighs> this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Really? Oh, I gotta see more before I say anything. Hold on. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. I haven't seen these videos in forever. Oh my god. This is from within the first month of me making TikToks every day. Honestly, you should have never been uploaded. Just thinking about this person making thirst traps is making me want to puke and Jesus. die. Okay, so that's I not even, that's not what I was thinking of, but continue. Smoothly not talk about that, but at the same time I kind of do because I don't think this is a controversial opinion that's going to get everyone here to unsubscribe, but I got to say it anyways. I don't think teachers should have TikToks. Am I being lynched right now? No, I agree. About? Tick teachers should not have a fucking TikTok where they're, they're trying to be like an influencer. I agree. It's either be a fucking teacher or try to be an influencer, like be one of the fucking other. Like you can try, like just you can make content, but 
If you're a teacher, you got to watch what you're doing. So that's like the problem. But go on. Because, you know, not only for this reason, but I don't know. I just it's weird. I don't know. Maybe because I'm older, but it's just yeah, weird. That, I can't yeah, imagine one of my teachers making thirst traps. OK, can you imagine that? It doesn't matter. Well, only their oh, bodies, God. Right? OK, maybe. That's oh, my God. <laughs> Like, I'm not saying teachers shouldn't have social media because, you know, they should, right? Yeah. But they should definitely do some background check. Just imagine if I try to be a teacher with the content that I put out. And it's not even hateful content or, you know, even controversial. At least not that recent ones, you know, I've changed for the best. But, like, I don't know. Would I hire me? Well, of course I would because, you know, you know I mean, <laughs> who wouldn't want me as a teacher? I don't know. It's kind of irresponsible, in my opinion, to hire someone who's a TikToker. So, so hold on. I, I want to see, I want to see the continuation of this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Place. Sensitive. Like I just, a... it was their first videos. Okay. But here is the problem. Okay. If this person was be, was trying to be a teacher, right? If you're trying to work around kids, why would you post in general content of you doing thirst traps? Everybody's first videos are cringe. It's not that it's cringe. Do you know what a thirst trap is? It's you acting sexual and trying to be hot in front of a camera. Okay? Like, I've made some cringe content. I 100% agree. But... If you are, if you as a person are trying to become a teacher and you're using social media maybe as a way to fund or you're like, hey, fuck it, let's do this, okay, you should not be posting a thirst trap. Like, you're trying to work with kids. Like, no, absolutely not. No, that is not okay. Nowhere near okay of your shitty content okay get that into your big ass head the rest of the meeting was spent scrolling through my tiktok and my hr manager being pleasantly surprised and pleased with my content as well as showing them how much i post and how long it takes to even scroll back just to a year ago wow. okay i cannot believe you make such lovely videos and help people and make an income while you do it yeah no one ever said that let's just be honest they're like that was mean I'm not, I'm not, let's just keep going. I, yo, I can't believe you're saving lives out there, Sensitive, with the bangers you're dropping on the daily. You're changing humanity, you're the goat for a reason. <laughs> the HR manager be something on that Lizzie. That's gotta be Cap, let's just be honest. No one is going to be that excited. No way, you're iconic. <laughs> Yeah, this totally did not happen. I'm gonna take these notes. Are you streaming tomorrow? Yeah, I'm be streaming tomorrow. Back with the superintendent and the principal, and it'll ultimately be up to them to decide what they want to do with this decision. And until I hear from them, consider yourself suspended. Okay, awesome. Thank you for sitting down with me and getting my side of things instead of just firing me. I really appreciate it, and I'm gonna go home and go take down those videos. Yeah, I would have just fired you for being annoyed at that point. And I don't care if it's fired without a cause. You're corny. Being fired for being corny and annoying should honestly be valid. What if I'm the boss and I don't like someone for being corny and obnoxious? Fuck paying you. I'm firing you for being annoying. <laughs> Let's do that. Can someone in the US government? I mean, on low key, the reason why I'm saying low key, I agree with that. I don't agree with it completely because it's kind of fucked up. Because like you know, people need to have a fucking job. It's money. Um, the only reason I agree with that partially is because I've had a coworker who was so fucking annoying, it was distracting. And I have sat down, not not the job I'm at right now, but like I have I have had to genuinely sit down and like mentally prepare myself for them walking into the fucking door and talking to me because it was so fucking distracting. Like like they were just so fucking annoying. Like the way they would try to talk to me and have a conversation. And like I've told them like, hey listen, you know, I I I'm really not a morning person. Like I've tried to give them the excuse of like, listen, I'm not that good of a person in the morning. Like please like I just I just want to do my job. They still kept fucking doing it. Like, they were just so fucking annoying. But, like, I, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that completely. I, I'm only saying, eh, kind of low-key, I can because I'm biased. But, like, no. I don't think you should just fire somebody because they're annoying. You know, it's, everyone needs a fucking job, you know? Government actually make that thing possible. It should be valid. Yeah. Like, imagine hiring someone and you get this person. And then you got to come up with an excuse or you got to figure out how to get them to quit or how to get them fired without paying them. If you vote for me, guys, I'll make that a reality. However, knowing the decision was up to the superintendent, who is a white cis older male and who I've never met and has no idea... Okay, keep doing. Go, go. Who I am or what I look like, and the principal, who is also a white cis male, who gave me the vibes that they were not the biggest fan of me and never really knew how to interact with me because of who I am, made me feel like the chances of me not getting fired were very low. I okay. I want to put this into context. I'm not going to say anyone's names because I do work there and I do want to keep my job. My senior, basically semi manager, um, he is mixed okay and he is gay now he has been working for the company i work at for i want to say maybe like 12 years maybe maybe a little longer um and he has worked at multiple stores uh multiple locations and has never ever said I didn't get the position or I didn't do they the manager above me didn't do this because of how I look or or you know who I am or you know because I'm gay. Nobody cares. 
Um, now there are people out there that do, um, and we don't know the full story, so I'm not going to say that they're being like, you know, dumb or anything, but as somebody as well, who is pansexual, I don't even look pansexual. I can't even, I can't even fucking use that as like an excuse. How do you look pansexual? How do you look pansexual or at least bisexual or whatever? Okay. Like I, I just think that that's not really like a good way to like frame it. Because you do not know that the reason why they fired you is because the fact that you are gay or whatever you are. They probably fired you because of the fact that they saw this content on your platform and did not want you teaching those kids. Because you either have posted that or maybe it's because of the content you're posting right now. They just did not want you teaching those kids. Which is fair. They have the right to do that. That is their fucking job. Um, so, like, I, I don't really... I'm not going to sit here and defend the fucking dude. The guy could just be a fucking homophobic. Like, I, I, I don't know the full story, but that's how I'm seeing it right now. Like, I can't just sit here and be like, oh, yeah, they're homophobic or, oh, yeah, you just don't. Uh, they're not homophobic. Like, they just they just don't want you teaching the kids. I can't say either, but um, uh, I just I don't know. Can you give a suggestion for Ray? Potentially one for done. a few days after the meeting. However, my art teachers all reached out to me and were like, where have you been? Of course the fucking art teachers. Of course the fucking art. I knew it. God damn it. I was thinking about that. I was like, if they were a teacher, I wonder what teachers they were friends with. I knew it was going to be the fucking art teachers. It's always the art teachers, man. Why is there another substitute subbing in the art classes right now? Where are you? Because I eat lunch with them every day, and I'm always the first sub offered to substitute the art classes because I make art, and I know what I'm doing. Okay, fair. And I'm able to help the students with their art projects, and I just really love it, and oh, the chaos. Is okay, so, yeah, of course, you, you know, your art teacher friend is the one who's vouching for you, surprising absolutely no one. And I love that she <laughs> said this, right? The That's principal who doesn't know me or know anything about me. Isn't that, like, one of the best ways? Because they don't have a bias. They haven't seen you. They don't know what yeah, you Yeah, wait a fucking minute. Wait. Yeah, that, I didn't even think about that. The fucking principal doesn't know who you are. So, yeah, it has nothing to do with you being fucking gay. They just don't want you around the kids because of your content. Yeah, like, you know, wouldn't that be a good thing? Or do you wish they knew who you were, so you got a preference because you're trans? You know, you gotta, you gotta. Oh, they're trans. My bad. I didn't know if they were gay or trans. I don't fucking know. I don't know this person. Like, and then saying that the apologies. principal, you apologies. felt like they have weird vibes because of who you are. Like, this is the thing. This is exactly what I mean. They make everything about them being queer, and if you don't like them, it must be because they're queer. Like, there isn't a million other things and in a million different reasons why they yeah. shouldn't like you, dude. It should be pretty obvious that the reason why people don't like you is because you're annoying. Okay, you know, sure, some of them might be because of your queerness or whatever, but the majority doesn't like you because you're obnoxious obnoxious okay and annoying and no one likes those type of people okay so stop trying yeah. to blame it on you know i'm gay so you know it's because of that no no like i said most people legitimately don't care as long as you do they just they don't care but that's pretty much the end of that video um but again i want to just wrap this up i don't want to keep talking about this because it is a very touchy subject subject and a subject i know a lot of people are going to be offended or, or you know like what the fuck nile um but i do want to leave it on this note of I think that it's fucked up that they lost their job. I think that it's fucked up that people were sending them hate and death threats. I think that is fucked up. Um, but I will say this is the internet. Okay, I've had my fair share of hate comments. I've had my share, share, fair share of people saying, "Oh, you're fucking, uh, your vote, your uh, your fucking auto tune shit is annoying," or "Oh, you're fucking, uh, you know, you curse a lot," or "Oh, you're very vulgar," or "Oh, you, you're just fucking annoying." Like I've had people say that shit to me too. Um, but there are two ways you can react to it. You can either grow the fuck up and learn from your mistakes that you make on the internet, or you can sit there and fucking whine about it, okay? And I did the first one. I don't, I don't fucking, I mean, I'll joke about it on my streams, but like, oh, you don't like fucking auto-tune and I'll play it. Like, I did that, because I was be like, oh, fuck you guys. Like, I was like, you know, making fun of them. But um, that's that part of it, okay, right? Like, I don't, I don't agree that they should have lost their job. Um, well, I think that they should not have been teaching it, I, I just don't think that they should have been around kids with the content they are making. If they were a completely different content creator, I'd probably be like, yeah, okay. But like, I also don't like the idea of them being around kids because they do make content. So it's like, it, it's not even like just the fact that, you know, they are LGBTQ and they're teaching kids. It's more the fact that they're making content about it and they are in the classroom. And since the kids found them on social media, it was an easy way for them to potentially get taught this stuff by the teacher because it could have been a segue into a conversation. That's why I'm kind of like, eh, I would rather them not be teaching my kids. Um, do I think they were a bad teacher? I don't think so. I mean, they probably were really good with kids. I'll be honest. Like, they probably were really good. Like, they were probably really nice to the kids, very, you know, understanding, very good at teaching. They were probably really a really fucking good substitute teacher. Like, I can't even fucking complain about that. But um, I don't know them. I don't know them. I don't have a fucking personality to kind of talk with them. Honestly, it would be really interesting to talk to them. I would, I would actually like to understand more of the situation. But... 
I'm not going to sit here and hate on the person. I'm not going to be like, oh, they're a fucking pedo or, oh, they deserve to fucking die. Like, I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm not doing that. Okay. I'm never going to hate on people for that shit, but I do have my opinions. Um, but does that mean my opinions are like the default and like everyone should listen to me? No, everyone has their own opinion. That's perfectly fine. And stereo, I don't, I didn't want to sound like I was being rude. Um, I apologize if I did, but it was just like this kind of situation. I'm very, I'm very, you know, defensive against, you know, kids and, you know, just having a childhood. And I don't want kids having to learn and deal with sexuality, gender identity, you know, like fucking, um, uh, you know, uh, drugs, you know, war. Like, I don't, I don't want them to deal with that shit. I want them to live their childhood as much as they can before they have to grow up. And sexuality and stuff like that is a big part of that. And if this, if this person was teaching them that, I don't like that shit. I don't think they should have been teaching the kids or, or teaching in general if that was the case. But I don't know the full story and I don't know everything. So I'm just going to leave it at. This person sh should not have been, you know, pushed to the point where they had to lose their job because, you know, money is money in this world. And I think that, you know, as, you know, a fucking adult that I am, I'm going to move the fuck on. And if people want to fucking call me homophobic, this, this, and that, I suck dick. I would love to suck a dick. So f fight me on that, okay? Like, I I'm not gonna, that that's my end of it. That's my end of it. And I just want to shake hands, you know, like the, the fucking predator meme. And that's it. We're done. We're done.